All right, what do you do? Uh, make custom drop beams out of factory uh, I beams. The factory ones? And yep. well, what do we have here? So you did some welding stuff. Do you bend them straight or do you keep them at a certain angle? Now, if they're if, they, if I get them and they're bent, I'll go in and I'll bend them back to somewhat factory. I get them close to factory okay. specs. Uh, the, jig, the jig that I made, actually uh, it keeps the factory caster camera. So a factory beam is built with a degree to a degree and a half of positive camera. These beams have a degree to a degree and a half of positive camera. Okay. It's all based off what size engine you, engine you yes. have, what si size your coil springs are, you know, if they're, B si or if they're straight six coil springs, whether they're V8 coil mm -hmm. springs. Uh, but this is a, I mean, it's a bolt on. You're four, four, and a half, you, you're four and a half inches lower. What do you? What have you done here? Some of it's apparent. But. Okay, so uh, I actually cut right here. I have a number that I cut from the center line of the kingpin to here. I cut here, then I cut three inches out of it, and I cut here. Uh, this is a 10, 18 mild steel. It's CNC machine with this form on it. Uh, I've got a jig set up. I put the beam in it, bolt the beam down. This gets welded all the way around. These are two scab plates that get welded all the way around here. The eyelet here gets welded all the way around. Uh, this right here is the drop steer bracket. Now you do have to uh, modify your spindle. So if you've got a drum spindle, you have to take the seven degree tapered hole and you have to drill it out to a three quarter through hole. Okay, and then uh, once you do that, this bracket bolts on. You torque this to 250 foot pounds. Your tie rod end goes in here. I supply you with a lock washer that spaces the castle nut up enough cool. for the uh, cotter pin to go in to lock in place. Wow. Uh, this truck here, the beams have been on it for five years. I uh, aligned it with a tape measure. You can go fill the tires now. There's no wear on the tires. Hmm. It rides just like the factory. It's still got the factory coil springs. It's got the factory shocks. Uh, it's just four and a half inches lower. Wow. And you do not just, this, these are four, you said, right? Those are four and a half. Four and a half. You do two, and uh, you can pretty much. Well, I don't, you know, two inches is a lot of work just for two inches. Yeah. I mean, you can put coil springs in there and get that, you know, you can get two right, inches right, right. out of some coil springs. So, I mean, and you can buy three inch beams. So yeah. there's no use in me making three inch okay. beams. So if you Can want, you buy two inch beams? I don't think they make two inch beams. Yeah, okay. Beams. So, uh, but I wanted to bring something to the market that, you know, yeah. you could get a lower stance out of factory suspension. And these won't hit the frame or anything no, like that. They won't That's hit cool. the frame. Now, if according on what size, width, diameter, tire, yeah, wheel yeah. combination. That, that's up to them though, yep, yeah. You might end up having to roll the inner fender lift. Yeah. Well, cool, man. Do you have a, where's the place that they can find you? Uh, I'm actually, uh, I'm on Facebook. Uh, I don't actually have a Facebook page for the beams yeah. yet. Okay. Uh, but I'm on Instagram. It's uh, John underscore rods. Uh, you can look me up there. It's actually a private page, but I'm going to convert it over. Okay. But if you send me a request, I'll accept it. Okay. Uh, well, cool, and they can, uh, and I'll be honest, with you, you've already posted already, yes, but sir. jump on to Ford for Hunter World and do another post, okay. maybe like uh, just saying that, hey, put admin approved, and uh, and just see see what kind of at least feedback you get. If not, because I know you did the post about yes. buying I beams, right? Yep. So there you go. Check him out, Facebook or Instagram, and he's gonna do a post. It sounds like on Ford for Hunter World, uh, either taking requests or orders or answering questions, yep. uh, because there's a lot of people that want this stuff they're not ready for that crown vic they're not ready for you know maybe buying this uber expensive uh dream dream beams and drop beams so and also if you get if you guys have some of these laying around he might be interested so thanks man that's pretty cool yep, I appreciate you it. might be tapping a market that uh that everybody wants that's good i appreciate you man yeah appreciate it have a good one yeah you too